Welcome to the Cincinnati Art Museum's Cam Look. Each Tuesday and Thursday, a staff member or volunteer will share an object from the permanent collection and pose questions for discussion. Check back every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Helen, a docent at the museum. From the 5th century BC onward, Buddhism spread across Asia, from India to Thailand to Myanmar, formerly known as Burma, China, Korea, and Japan. In each country, artists developed distinct ways to represent Buddha. Today, we'll look at how sculptors in Thailand and Myanmar chose to honor Buddha and some of his worshipers and how those sculptures were used. In Gallery 143, you can see this Buddha from 18th century Thailand. It's a bronze statue, 12 and 3 quarter inches tall. Small images like this one were made for home altars or to donate to a temple. This act of generosity was believed to help the donor on his or her journey to rebirth. Commissioning, producing, and donating Buddhist image were signs of reverence. Buddha has a gentle smile on his face and his eyes are closed. The unusual spire on top of his head is a tradition among artists in Southeast Asia. That tall spire represents his Vishnasha, the symbol of his enlightenment and enthronement in paradise. Also distinctive to sculptures of Buddha in Thailand and Myanmar, the great teacher is shown in royal robes not the simple robes of a monk as was common in other cultures in Asia. Hand gestures are very important in Buddhist images. His right hand is facing downward. In Thailand, this is known as Buddha subduing Mara. Mara was the demon who tried to prevent Buddha from attaining enlightenment. Buddha's legs are in the Vajrasana or lotus position with both soles up. This composite image combines side, front, and back views of Buddha. Altogether, they show that the Buddha is disciplining his mind through mental concentration, a necessary step to achieving enlightenment. Every surface of the statue is finely detailed to honor him. There are two other small sculptures arranged to each side of Buddha. On the left is a king, and on the right is a monk. Three images like these would be arranged in these positions on a family altar or at a temple. The two other sculptures were created in Myanmar. To the left of the Buddha, a kingly figure in an attitude of respect kneels in a slight bow with his hands folded in devoted prayer. The king also has a spire on his head. Has he reached enlightenment? This statue is only nine and three quarters inches tall appropriately smaller than Buddha. Perhaps he is a model for a worshiper to follow as they seek the path to enlightenment. The king's eyes are fully open and he is clearly smiling. His royal robes include a jeweled collar and ornate belt. You can see the inset cut glass pieces outlining the edges of his clothing and on double bracelets around his wrist. To the right of the Buddha, the sculpture a disciple of the Buddha is just seven and a half inches tall. He might be Shariputra, the disciple closest to Buddha. He was known for his wisdom and teaching abilities, which earned him the title General of the Dharma, the religious and moral duties of Buddhism. As here, he is often shown on the right side of the Buddha. Shariputra looks straight ahead, not quite smiling. He has the shaved head of a monk with his robes draped over his left shoulder. He also has tiny jewels on his robe, perhaps to honor him and his dedication to Buddha and Buddhism. This is Wat Chong Kham Temple in Thailand. Small statues like Kham's were donated to temples like this one. Notice the three towering spires, much like the spires on Buddha's head and like the king's crown. Wat Chong Kham is an extensive complex of many temple buildings. One altar there has many offers of flowers. To the right, you can see a small number of sculptures. 
who donated them as an act of reverence. I hope you enjoyed learning about the distinct style of Buddhist sculptures in Thailand and Myanmar. How are these artworks different from Buddhist sculptures in other countries or artworks from other religions? Look at the faces, hand gestures, and clothes. Is the figure standing, sitting, or walking? How are they similar? How are they different? The next time you're at CAM, visit Gallery 140 and 143 to find the many images of Buddha and compare them. Thanks for joining us on CAM Look today.